when people come to the Black Hills region of South Dakota, the thing that most often gets associated with the Black Hills, as far as you know, tourist attractions or visitation or whatever, is Mount Rushmore. But you can't talk about the Black Hills without talking about the Lakota people. And you can't talk about the Lakota people without talking about men and warriors like Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse. Well, today we are at an amazing structure that is still in the works. This is the Crazy Horse Memorial. Well, what we are looking at is history in the making. This is the Crazy Horse Memorial, started back in the late 1940s by a man named Korjak Zukowski, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, this is the vision of a man who wanted to honor the Native American people by carving this giant sculpture out of a mountain in the image and likeness of the great Lakota warrior Crazy Horse. All right, we're gonna go inside and see what we can learn about this sculpture. All right, we just walked into the museum here at the Crazy Horse Memorial and wow, pretty impressive facility right off the bat. So we're gonna look around and uh, see what they have here. So this is the man right here who first had the vision for carving crazy horse out of the mountain uh, and his name I think I'm I'm probably gonna mispronounce this but it's Korjak Zokowski I think is how you say it properly uh, anyway he had worked on Mount Rushmore and a guy by the name of Henry Standing Bear asked him to uh, do something for crazy horse so this was the this was the vision and he did it all by hand at first. And the story behind it is crazy. And here's his hat, and you can see it is well worn. Something else. This is a picture of some of these survivors of the Battle of Little Bighorn. This was at a reunion in 1948. And uh, in the video that we watched earlier, they talked about how these guys helped the sculptor um, with the image of Crazy Horse, since there's no image of Crazy Horse himself. Now, for somebody like me who is a bow hunter, this is really interesting. Um, this is a bow and a stunning arrow, so you'll notice there's no there's no arrowhead or sharp point on it. Uh, this was designed to stun small animals or birds or things like that so that it wouldn't damage the hide or the skin. That way they could like collect eagle feathers and things like that. Very interesting. I've never seen one of those before. Look at this. Love looking at these old stone war clubs. So interesting. Apparently this one was uh, made in western Nebraska. Now here are some interesting items that I've never seen before. You can see this item is made out of a deer hoof. So there's the bone and then there's the hoof and then there's some leather on it. And it's uh, kind of like a small horse whip. Kind of cool. Uh, and then over here they have some Indian saddle horns. And then what I really thought was interesting was this. This is a bridle made out of horse hair. Okay, now this is incredibly interesting to me. Uh, these are all artifacts that were recovered from the Battle of Little Bighorn. So you can see some cartridge casings, some bullets, buttons. There's a buckle down there. And then also a few arrowheads, a horseshoe. Wow. 
here's another very fascinating item. This is a saddle that was used at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Hmm. Okay, so we just walked out of the uh, North American Indian Museum, and here you can see the sculpture behind me. And uh, we're getting ready to go into the sculptor studio and uh, look at a little bit more on kind of the, the history of uh, this man named Korjak who set this carving into motion. By the way, I think I may have just called this the North American Indian Museum. Just for the sake of clarity, it's the Indian Museum of North America. So, my bad. Here's a good image of what the Crazy Horse Memorial is going to look like whenever it's finished. And man, that, that is going to be quite a sight. His face alone is 87 feet tall. So, so this thing really is huge. They have a bunch of pictures here showing the progression of the sculpture in the mountain. So here's what the mountain looked like in 1948 originally. This is how it looked in 1960, so 12 years later. Okay, in 1968 you can see it starting to take form. 1982, you can see the, the horse head being drawn out. 1991. 93, we're starting to see the face. 1999, definitely tar starting to take more shape. And then 03 and 05. Very cool to see the progression of this work of art. Wow, how amazing is this? This is another work by Korjak, uh, done in 1952. And this is the likeness of Crazy Horse that he carved out of Ponderosa Pine. This guy really was amazing. Okay, so this is really something else. A few days ago, I was in Deadwood and I filmed a uh, sculpture of Wild Bill Hickok while I was there. I had no idea that it was Korjak Joukowsky that was the sculptor of that and this is a bronze that was cast from the original so the same guy that worked on crazy horse is the same one that did the wild bill hickok sculpture interesting and then here we're just looking at a selection of tools and pieces of stone that have been blown off of the mountain of course they wouldn't be using these now i don't think these are all older but yeah man to think of how this all started in 1947. So this is some of the original equipment that Korjak used uh, whenever he started building the Crazy Horse Memorial. And uh, I guess this thing was kind of temperamental. You see it says kaput up there. Like the steps that he built to get to the top, there were over 700 that he would have to walk up and this thing would die on him and he'd have to go all the way back down get it started again and then go all the way back up. Dude was a worker. And right there is what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. Man, that is going to be something else. All right, so we just got out of the sculptor's house in the museum. Um, found out that you can actually take a bus to the base of Crazy Horse. So uh, yeah, we're going to take advantage of it while we're here and jump in and, and get as close to this thing as we can. Here we are, and what you are looking at right there is the largest mountain carving in the world. 
the Crazy Horse Memorial. Uh, just the face alone is 90 feet tall. Now by comparison, the faces of Mount Rushmore I think are 60 feet. And uh, the total height is 500 and some change. I can't remember the exact height off the top of my head. But uh, man, what a spectacular structure. And whenever it's finished, man, that is going to be something else. Uh, interesting story. The, uh, the man who started sculpting this was offered millions of dollars by the government on a couple different occasions, and he turned them down both times. So whenever you come here to the Crazy Horse Memorial, the money that you spend here, well, you're becoming part of the project. Very, very cool. All right. Well, that was the Crazy Horse Memorial. Very, very glad that we came here today. Uh, this really is an amazing structure, and, and I can't wait to see what they do with it over the next 25, 30, 40, 50 years, uh, you know, all the way up into its completion. I love that we have Mount Rushmore, and that, that we have monuments to some of the, the men who, who really made this country great. But I'm also thankful that we have things like the Crazy Horse Memorial too, because we're a country with diverse origins and a diverse background and a diverse history. And uh, to, to see representation done so well, it just makes me feel good knowing that future generations are gonna have a more complete picture and uh, a greater appreciation for who we are as a country.